Once again this year, we're teaming up with the Minnesota Assistance Council for Veterans. It's part of our Home for the Holidays campaign. Uh, I just love this effort by the station. Uh, more than 25 years, MACV uh, has been doing just incredible work, serving veterans, serving their families, not only folks who are homeless, but also people at risk of becoming homeless. In this past year, uh, no doubt COVID-19 has made it more difficult for MACV to engage with veterans in need. And so joining us now to talk more about the mission is Brian Peterson, the CFO for MACV. Brian, great to have you with us. Mm -hmm. well, great to be here. Thank, thank you so much. And thank you for telling, telling the stories of, of, uh, of, of the work that MACV does and our, our mission to end veteran homelessness in Minnesota. Well, and that's the thing, because some of this can sound a little, I don't know, social service processy kind of stuff, but these are just individual stories, one at a time, where you are really kind of chipping away at these problems and making, making a difference, not just in their lives, but in the richness of the community. Well, you're absolutely right, Jason. In the... The, the, today, there's 305 individuals that are known across Minnesota to be experiencing homelessness. Um, but you know, we can talk about the numbers and and how many people need 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 assistance. But it really is each of those individuals has a unique story and a unique set of circumstance. Um, our team is incredible. We've got case managers working across the state of Minnesota um, to really find individualized solutions to meet. Those, those unique sets of circumstance that are parts of every single individual's story who's going through a difficult time in their life. Mm -hmm. Whether they're experiencing homelessness or whether they're in a situation in life without some support, without some help, um, they, they might slip into, into that situation in which they might have to experience homelessness without some assistance. And Brian, we know that Minnesota has been working very hard on this and been making incredible progress, but then COVID hits. And this uh, pandemic, of course, is happening and having an impact on the hardest on our most vulnerable citizens here and these homeless veterans too. You really have had to change what MACV is doing entirely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, our hats off to our staff who, you know, back in March when COVID really, you know, started to, to impact us here in Minnesota, um, we didn't skip a beat. Everybody went from working in the office to working from home. Um, to keep our staff safe, to keep our clients safe. We were able to, to continue to, to carry on the services that we, that we need to, to, to support veterans. Since you know, nine months now, since COVID really did um, you know, start the pandemic, started here in Minnesota, um, we've launched an outreach team to go find and work with veterans wherever they are, whether that be in a shelter, in an encampment. We've launched um, a hotel program, an emergency housing program to keep veterans in safe spaces while our team can work with them to find a pathway to long-term housability. Our employment team helps people find jobs. Um, there's so many different ways in which um, our team is helping people and, yeah. and placing people into better situations. So important. Brian, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for telling, telling stories and we appreciate, we appreciate your support and partnership. Mm -hmm. And you can hear from all the things Brian said, all the programs that they're running, your money makes a difference. So if you would like to, and if you can donate, text MACVORG, that's MACVORG, to 44321. And a reminder today, right here during this show on Mid Morning, another 20 minutes, there will be a match for up to $5,000 from 3M, so you can stretch those dollars even further. Again, MACV org to 44321, or you can also give online. Just go to our website. We'll have it all information, wcco.com slash holidays.